This is a version that would be like a Roman short sword. Uh, you'll notice two pieces of paper. I'll be using a pair of glue dots for this one in a little bit, so I'm going to set them aside. And then two, two 60s. Uh, the darker one is going to be for the handle with about five or six inches uninflated. And the blade uh, is the gray. It's going to have about an inch uninflated on it. We're going to start with our handle. And as you may have noticed, I like to do this on a lot of my handles. It just gives it a little extra character. Start by making a little small, about a one inch bubble on the end. Followed by two pinch twists to make a little small round bubble. Make that a pinch twist. Make another small round bubble. Make that a pinch twist as well. And we're going to make our handle about five or six inches. As long as it's big enough that you can get your hand around it. Now we're going to make two more little small pinch twists to make a round bubble. Make that a pinch twist. Another round bubble. Make that a pinch twist as well. Now we're going to come out to the side of this, make a bubble about, about the width of your hand, and then another small round bubble, and that will be a pinch twist. I like pinch twists. And then another bubble the same size as this one here, and then come back into the two pinch twists there in the middle. There's one extension on the side. You can see the shape that we're starting to go for now. And then we're going to repeat that process with another piece just like this. It's another bubble the same size as the long bubbles here. We're pinch twist out on the end. And then another bubble the same size as that one there. We come back into it. Secure that in around the base. And then you want to line your two pinch twists up so that they're in line with this. So that will all stay in place. World's shortest sword. Not really. Pop the excess off. Secure that loose end. It's usually at that point that okay to complain they wanted a longer sword. Now you're going to take our gray one that we had, and we're going to start by bringing the two ends together, and we're just going to tie the two ends together, forming a giant loop. Turn that excess off. Now we're going to take where our knot is, where we formed our big loop here. We're going to take this and twist it right into the center of these two pinch twists in the middle of the handle here. So I'm just going to bring that from underneath one of the extensions and just bring them around opposite sides. Secure that in nicely. And you can see where it looks like a giant mirror. What we want to do, this is where the glue dots come in. Take your first glue dot and come out about maybe a third of the way on the sword. Put it on the inside. Secure that one in place. Take your second one out. Go out about another third, maybe a little less. And secure that one in place. And now what we're going to do is we're come to the end, and what I'll do is I'll take and I'll grab it, where I've got four or five inches thin on the end here, and then grab the end and pinch that, and then just push it together a little bit like that. And you can see where it gives it that little bit of shape, like a Roman short sword, just like that. So there's your little Roman short sword. I don't know if you can see all of it. And this is based on a design that was come up with by our son. Some of you have met him, believe he goes by Balloon Dog. A little Roman short sword.